Hey guys, we're finally here. It's the finale you've all been waiting for. The 14 attempts are hopefully coming to a close. 57 parts. It's the Conquest Lunatic Iron Man finale. But I finally caved in. I listened to you. We're gonna get some help today. So I've got someone who's going to beat the game for me because you all told me that I'm bad at video games. I can't play Fates. I don't know how to do guard. So here we have Akraso. He's going to actually help me complete this godforsaken run. Please introduce yourself. Yes, hi, I'm Akra. Thanks for having me on, Sal. So, yeah, uh, I have a Fireman YouTube channel of my own where we do a bunch of different things. We do some Iron Mans, which I imagine is why I'm here. Um, also, like other Let's Plays, sometimes analytical video stuff. So, yeah, I mean, we might have to do a bit of working together on this, Sal, because. I'm very curious as to what team you've got left for me at this point. Uh, so many units died, I can't even remember. I did know I, like, as always, I intentionally kill off Arthur because I think he's a joke character and I, th I find it very funny. Uh, other than that, Benny died, uh, Charlotte died, everyone died, uh, but Corin's still there. So we're going to be able to do this today. And if, okay, we, we'll we see if we're able to do this. If it just ends up being Corrin, we might not be able to do this, but we'll try to make something work. Yeah, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. I think it's uh, time to get into preps. I mean, I know you've you've got weird situations handled. Uh, I've seen you play things like uh, Danny Doyle's FE6 with weird shit going on. Lalum having zero move, having to cart her around. I really like to kidnap. Shame she had to, she had to die. But I, I mean, that that's I... just like the story of like apparently every single recruitable <laughs> unit who doesn't join you at the immediately at the start of the map. You just don't get recruited. You don't get recu recruited immediately? Ah, too bad. I don't want to figure out how to get you into into an interesting spot. You die. But Exactly. I know, but you know how to persevere. I don't. Let's get this done. Let's get this started then, yeah. Although, um, wasn't to your preps, like, is that is that supposed to happen? I don't. I think so. Okay. Well, I mean, this. Okay. You did say that we we're going to beat Takami. So, uh, I guess that's accurate. That is accurate. I mean, that is Takami. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I'm known as like the Tellius guy. But I was planning on playing some conquest today. But or rather, having someone play some conquest today. But we don't talk about that. Uh, but I guess we're here. It's uh, we've got to face Takumi anyways. Yeah, Takumi and like I guess this must be um, all of Ashura's like barrier thing with the specters. Yeah, they're his replicas, all right. Oh yeah. So okay. So we got to kill. All so we presumably got to kill all of them first before we get anywhere close to Takumi with. I think bold so. Stamps. Grants units two consecutive attacks while ally is adjacent. Yeah, definitely I don't think we're meant to fight Takami until we <laughs> actually see. No, I don't think so. I mean, he's got his competitive. Uh, does he also get the stat bonuses because he's adjacent? Whilst and... a unit of equal or higher level is adjacent to Takami, unit gains plus 10 crit, free strength, and one defense. Yes, I, would, I think that's being accurately applied here. Yeah, it checks out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess... Uh... I guess we're going to kill Takumi in, uh, in Benyon, in the Tower of Guidance. I guess so. Let's put the angsty boy to rest. Yeah, all, all nine of him. Christ, those stats are pretty wild though. They are. They are pretty wild. <coughs> I mean, I wonder what the stats are of like my own, oh shit. 54 attack speed. I think you're pretty good, should be fine. I think he's got white pool going on somewhere. I see. And, and okay, support bonuses that subtract stats. Okay, I actually kind of like that, but that's interesting. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually a small thing from Daybreak that was left over in um, in this entire project. Uh, support bonuses, like if you want to get the Knight's nice Earth Earth affinity, that bonus uh, fortify avoid. That's great. Mm -hmm. But if you get hit, you're going to take three more damage. Uh, stuff like that like here you get some attack you get some avoid you have to pay for that and then you can also say like i want i don't want those risks i take some smaller buffs that don't get any negatives attached to them or you get some bigger buffs but you pay a little cost yeah no i think that's really neat especially for like 
support lines where, like, people don't get along, right? The ones where people end up getting into fights or whatever, and you're just like, why on earth do you now get increased bonuses from being close to each other? I mean, you mean Oliver and anyone, or Shinon and anyone? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of, like, others, like, for instance, like, Matthew's support with Jafar and FE7 is basically, like, Matthew being like, I will kill you for killing Layla <laughs> until he's finally, like, at his A support, he's like, you know what, never mind. Never mind, I'm going to um, piss off and get annoyed by Sarah. Basically. Okay, so, I mean, I'm guessing that these must be all the units that we have. No? Okay, party's full, but we have more units. Oh yeah, we have a lot of units. Uh, don't deploy them, uh, Gareth and Asir aren't feeling all that well. What? Okay, what happens if I do deploy them? They turn into tofu. Like, they literally turn into a yellow, red, and white block with Japanese lefts on them. I've, I think so. Or they just disappear. One I of the two. Uh, the, like, I, I don't know what happens. You can try. I mean, this entire thing is scuffed anyways. We're fighting... Okay. Ta we're okay. fighting you're right, you're here. Right. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're going to get Volk to do anything, realistically. So let's just let's just bring along Gareth and we'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, we might have a Lagoose Gem somewhere in the convoy or a stone. Oh, I mean, I'm realistically, I'm not planning on making any use of him. We're just trying to see what happens with him. Yeah, but if you want to transform him. Yeah. Also, why does Tanif's class say that she's Seraph Knight Sigram? She really looks up to her superior. I mean, Wyvern Lord Har, everyone likes to be Wyvern Lord Har, doesn't, don't they? That's true, that's true, actually, you're right. Makes total sense no, there's to a lot me. Of, there's a lot of, like, different class names here. That's kind of cool. Also, people with overcapped experience, that's pretty funny. Yeah, uh, I'll get into the details about this in just a moment. Like, we can start the map, and it's it's pretty terrible uh, how I had to get there. Ah, it's Loran. I guess I'll read this part out then. Okay. Forgive me, goddess. I must end my service to you now. My dear goddess, Ashura. Wait. Uh, who are you? Loran. Yo. Are we going to get demonetized or DMCA'd? I have no idea. Titanium was damaged before the start of the battle? Yeah, there's, um... We'll go through the text first. Cool, okay. I'll be Makai then as well. Everyone, listen to me. I don't know who or what that is. We must first destroy the Spectres protecting him. Yeah, I mean, we worked that out already, Micaiah, but, like, thank you for the advice. Oh, Got it? Attack the Spectres. It's Yune who says that, and Micaiah did nothing wrong. Oh, that's true, actually. No, so, okay. um, to get here, um, I'll be blunt. This entire thing is one big spaghetti code. Uh, uh -huh. for, for example, uh, Leron still has dragon skin, so I'm guessing he's going to be impervious to damage. Yo, if he's impervious to damage, that's actually hilarious. It's uh, it's really scuffed. Uh, probably should have been removed, but we're going to make the most out of it. Yeah, cause okay, wait. Let's let's actually check if any of the Scardies are um, you know, last. They're not. Doesn't They're, look like they are. I don't think this is going to end well for Takumi. Okay, well, I mean, okay, that means that we've got that out, which means that we can also, like, we can, like, mess around with stuff in the meantime, right? I mean, let's let's YOLO everyone in there. Okay, maybe not everyone. I think that trying to <coughs> YOLO Ike and Micaiah might be a bad idea. Okay, fair enough. No, uh... Um... But, okay, firstly, let, firstly, let's see if we actually have this way, this way out. Oh, shit. Oh, slow animations. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, that's pain. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I don't want the map- I don't even want the map-only animation, just turn them off. Yeah. Okay. Game, game fast, that's good. I think that's everything that needs to get changed. Yeah, the rest is fine. Um... Oh, you- Oh, can... thank you, thank god, that's so much better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, so let's find out if he's actually our way out. Uh, okay, we're not... I, we don't know because that missed. <laughs> we're not gonna find out today. Yeah. Uh, so... Does uh, Takumi actually have his Draconic Hex? Oh, right. Draconic Hex, you gave him a skill for that? Yeah. 
Yeah, it should be. Like, I can't actually give him uh, give a debuff to units. So instead, he gets a nice little item that gives him plus four to all stats. Ah, right. After combat, raises unit stats by four until start of unit's next turn. Does this stack? No. Uh, that's one of the things I did manage to patch out. It was very funny having Ike first doubling and then not doubling and then getting doubled. And then getting he, doubled. Yeah, because he gets a 24 swing in stats in the end. <laughs> Jesus. 24 speed, 24 skill, 24 strength is not a nice combo to have, um, even yeah. with busted units. Like, Laurent could probably do it, but I don't know if he'd be able well, to I mean, damage. We, we, we've got to find out if Laurent can do it, I guess. Yeah, but he wouldn't be able to damage in the end anymore, because he'd probably do, like, three damage, and then it, they'd heal back all the damage they uh, lost. Mm hmm Well, I mean, we've already got a way out, so, you know, we can actually just, like, straight up, like, yeet people into the line of fire, I guess. Yeah, let's just do it. I mean, I'll, I'll give some context on why this entire thing was very scuffed. Uh, very uh, nice cue with the music actually not looping. <laughs> okay, do you want me to turn the music off then? Yeah, sounds, sounds good. I'll, uh, I'll patch in some new, mu some new music um, afterwards. Okay. There we go. I was able to insert music, which was like quite difficult, I might add, uh, but getting it to loop just didn't work. Oh, Nolan just barely missing out on the kill. One but... short, huh? Sad. Yeah. Okay. How much HP? How much? Okay. So 38 defense, 41 res, 28 HP. So we need 69 magic attack, or we need to have... Why am I calculating this? We need to have 65. 66. Yeah. Okay. I could have also just looked at Nolan's and been like, we need one more than that. <laughs> I don't think we've got an energy drop lying around, sadly. I have to imagine we don't, but you know. No, um, to start off with, this entire thing ended up horribly because I didn't have an actual save file of endgame while making this. Mm -hmm. uh, the, well, I did, and it was a reverse recruitment one. However, that meant that if I tried to load the correct save data in, uh, or the reverse recruitment save data into a vanilla, or like Takumi modded game with vanilla basics, mm. then I would end up with a stupendous amount of bugs because all the units like Edward would be in a tier three uh, level with a tier one model as a red dragon. Like, it, oh. it was absolutely terrible, so I had to use um, cheat codes, gecko codes, uh, weird scripting stuff to actually try and, like, straighten some things out on turn one. Okay, uh, like Garth the, is still um, here, he's not Tofu yet. He's not Tofu yet, maybe when he transforms. Maybe when he gets damaged as well. When he gets damaged, he'll definitely just instantly die. We could just put animations on for that. We could. Okay, options. By unit. Okay. <coughs> oh my god, we all turn them all off for everyone except for him. I guess we can turn them on for Kyra as well, I guess. Yeah, that sounds good. Maybe Ike too. Oh, uh, Gareth, you need to have on. Oh yeah, I do. Also, I have a pet peeve with Gareth, like in vanilla, uh, because you can just transform him, put him on a wardwood, uh, and put Kurth next to him, or have him drink pure water, and he'll just be fine. If he does all those four things, he takes zero damage from spirits, and he survives the Ashra single target magic attack. Oh, that's pretty funny, actually. And people call him like, Oh, there's only magic units, he's worthless. No, he's still good because of his blood tide. Uh, which now, by the way, is also on Titania. Oh. I guess the idea is because, like, you know, he's not meant to be here. Yeah, he's not meant to be here. I wanted to give a few tools to play with, uh, except I forgot, apparently, to take out one very big tool in the form of Dragon Skin on Leron. I mean, we don't even know if that works yet, because, like, that attack missed. Right? Yeah true but i i think i mean i it, guess i imagine it will work right? i imagine no it will work no but in the end it just um the coding straightened some things out apparently i missed something uh but the xp values should be back to normal like everyone should be zero xp if they haven't had combat yet ah uh -huh. and uh mainly all the weapons weren't blessed so those are now also blessed on turn one like it took a lot of stuff to actually get this up and running uh, but yeah. I can imagine, yeah. It's it's a really cool test to see how the coding works, and it needs like more polish. But it it just it just ended up nice double stun by the way. It just ended up being so scuffed that I couldn't get everything to work. Though the uh -huh. though if 
the mantle or the dragon skin thing works. That probably just was a fault of mine. And it's very funny that we're probably going to be able to see Leron just tear through all the Takumis. <laughs> Look, it does sound like it'll be funny. So you know what? I can't complain about it too much, right? Oh, like, no. What we're... is... We are here to like, have we fun. Never complain about too much funny, right? Exactly. I mean, Leonardo is definitely the best archer on the map right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, right, I did say it, all animations on for Ike, didn't I? Yeah. It's actually a grayscale enemy. Uh, tried to give him some ghostly wisps, but that didn't work. Uh-huh. Also, I don't know why the shockwave is going back. I don't think that's part of the counter animation that they normally have. Interesting. Add it to the pile of bugs. I think that's great. <laughs> oh, Yo, nice. Soren gets a kill. Yeah, and they actually get that because of the three attack. Support's nice. Actually okay, maybe we should keep a track. Maybe we should keep, we should keep track of how many people get killed by Loran, or rather, we can keep track of like <coughs> how many enemies get killed by Loran versus everyone else. So so far, Loran's killed zero. Yeah, and we've got one for one for Soren and one for Nolan, right? Yes. Okay, is Fiona going to get a kill? That's the question, huh? That's pretty serviceable. I mean, I guess. But like, I don't think she can... Yeah, she can't double any of them, so we've got to like get one of them really low. No, fair Okay, enough. you know what? We're going gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna try. We're going to try. Yeah, Fiona Gaming. Fiona Gaming. <coughs> oh, man. I still really have that little cough from being sick a few weeks ago. It happened, like it's the season for it. Yeah, I've had so many people in, at work also just falling ill and then having to cover. Uh-huh, uh-huh. At least I got my okay. own, like, week of sickness that I was able to push work onto others. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, let's let's just, like, have everyone else, I guess, like, run straight into the problem. Oh, Ooh, he I think z -Hog might be dying. He survived, though. Just rescue him with Meg. That's what she's there for, isn't she? <laughs> She's getting doubled anyway. That's true. Hey, there we go. He's going to survive. Well, we'll find out if he survives, I guess. <coughs> Z okay, Z let's see what happens now. Boy. Yeah, that, that checks out. Dragon skin working as intended. Mm -hmm. Undoing all your progress. Yep. Okay. Uh, Meg is so dead. Oh yeah, she's, yeah, she's definitely so dead. dead. She's so dead. Not my pookums. Oh, he's also dead. <laughs> <laughs> he's especially dead if he gets crit like that, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh man, that's great. I didn't expect that, that to happen. Just me saying he's so dead and immediately he gets crit for the one shot. Yeah, that was pretty good. Well, see ya dude. At least Takumi did get a kill. Okay, okay. Maybe we'll get to find out if... Uh, okay, wait. We haven't seen if it still worked. Okay, so... so okay, can someone please truck fucking hit Loran? <laughs> we can see if this dragon skin works the way that I think it does. <laughs> oh my god! Well, see you, Mag. Pookums. Boop. And we've got Seahark back. He survived! He survived! Okay, so we still don't know <laughs> if fucking dragon skin works the way that I think it should. It should, it definitely should, but it's very like, it funny. It definitely should, we... right? Yeah, but we... like, I was like, please, I want to actually like see for sure. Yeah, we do want the confirmation. Okay, maybe I need to stop attacking people with Ike. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Because like, obviously we haven't seen the end of this, but like, I have to imagine that like, you know, he probably has to be the one who gets the final strike on Takumi. Like, don't say, obviously, but I have to imagine that's the case. So it's, so it's better just, like, keep it, keep the animations on now. Yeah, 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 definitely, because, I mean, I didn't get the map model um, to actually look like Takumi, but the in-game model, like, the battle model, model is actually, uh, it's Takumi. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Of course, I had to work within the limitations of the models that existed, but Shinon is Ugh. pretty close. Ooh, that 5% crit chance. Yeah, no, that's not on. That's, like, incredibly not on. Okay. Controller, please. Thank you. 
No, I was very pleased that like Shinon looks decently, or he resembles Takmi quite a bit with the ponytail. Oh yeah, you're right. He is just, yeah, he is just Shinon. I kind of like that though. Takami, who ends up, who really hates um, Norian's, uh, being replaced by Shinon, who really hates the Lagoos. Ah, uh, you called. There's them some the kind Lagoos. of poetic justice to that, you know. <laughs> yeah, there is. But it's it's just because of like I could have replaced him with Rolf, but that'd be mean to Takami. Okay. The archers are not right. having a good day today. Like they're missing all. Yeah, the like Jesus Christ, y'all! Like this is not that hard, I think. Is it a Fiona kill though? Oh, is it a Fiona kill? Six HP. Yo. She's got to be able to do that. I've, you gotta hope so, right? Yo, okay. She's I should on... turn on animations for this. She's on Yo, the board. Yo, Fiona kill! Let's go. She's on Gaming. the board. Weapon level up. That was pretty funny. That was good. I have no regrets. So we've got, what, six left, including the beast himself, Takmi, in the center. Yep, and so far, Loran has claimed no one. Okay, can we please see, <laughs> can, we, can someone please hit their 60? G or like, 90? Yeah, can someone please hit, okay, let's do this then. Ah, oh, yes, there It we does go. work, you even get the dragon skin in the, in the top left. Nice. Nice. That's Pog, that's funny. Okay, we've got our outs. That's good. Yeah, we got our out. It does mean that I can just like charge everyone into danger. Big mistake on my part for actually not removing that, but I mean, it, it happens, right? It's a scuffed. It's a. It's an entire scuffed thing, anyways. Yep. Ooh, two HP. I yep. think. I think he's dead if you don't rescue him because I think this is the turn the physical AOE comes over. Actually, fun fact about the AoE, uh, mm -hmm. I used the sniper caps from Fates and uh, Radiant Dawn, made a ratio between them, and from there on out I looked at Takumi's endgame stats and like adjusted them, and then mm. I put the marksman promotions on top of that. I However, see. I believe that, if I remember correctly, it's been a while, his strength was so high that the AoE pretty much killed everyone except if they were on the outer three tiles of the map. Like, everything Oh my god, that's closer, fucking hilarious. Yeah, everything closer was just dead. That's actually really funny. Like, Raphael has 60 HP just because it still hurts him like a motherfucker. And oh, that he... makes sense. I was thinking that he had, like, a really high HP value. Same with, um, where is she? Mikaya. Same with Micaiah. I was like, she's got so much HP. That's not the vanilla amount of HP. No, no, no. These are definitely adjusted values. Yeah. Well... We can have Z-Hawk die, I guess. I mean, Z-Hawk will die, but you know, it's fine. Yeah, it's... Uh, things happen. Oh, yeah. uh... We can put Gareth in range. Maybe, uh, maybe... I one mean, Gareth, I think, is going to die anyway. Like, he'll die from the AoE, right? Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, he's going to die from the AoE anyways. So we can just stay here. That means we won't get the funny combat, uh, the combat animation though. I think. I oh, think that's when, true, actually. When it happened. Oh. Lol. <laughs> see you, Rolf. And that's Oscar the second boy, one. Shinon. Shinon's right here. What are you talking about, dude? <laughs> okay, let's put, let's put him in range of someone. Now I think the AOE goes before though. Oh, that's true, actually. It does. <coughs> Time for them to undo all the progress being made. Yeah, 34 HP, like, it's quite a bit. Yeah, it's not a small number. Oh, Christ. Okay, I have, like, a pillow, uh, or, like, I have, um, above my screens, I have a cabinet with a big opening for my cats to lie in, and there's a uh -huh. kitten lying in there, and he was sleeping, and he turned around in his sleep, and he almost, like, crashed on top of my keyboard and my screen. Oh, rip. Thank yeah. goodness that didn't happen. <laughs> he grabbed himself just in time. Okay. Feel the wrath of Hoshido. I'll kill every last one of you. You... You filthy Norian scum. It'll be a slaughter. A just end. Perish, traitors. Oh, wait a second. I guess, is Loran gonna get damaged by this? 
Uh, yeah. Is he going to die? Okay, he didn't die. Close, and oh. it's... <laughs> oh, that was fun. <laughs> no damage. I was like, did he survive that? This makes sense. <laughs> King Kurfnaga, be safe. Uh, I hate to tell it to you, man. Kurfnaga also has zero HP. Uh, rip, the heart. rip, best boy. <coughs> Yeah, like yeah, it does hurt like a bitch, huh? It hurts like a bitch. I think even uh, closer, Laron, like if he stood next to attack me, he'd still be fine. I believe it does forty-four in that case. It goes up by three every tile or something like that. Okay. Uh, I love how long it takes for everyone to get damaged, and then we still actually have the enemy phase to actually go through as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot of people in range. It's mostly Laron. It's mostly Loran. They can't, oh, I've got to move Jill. They can't hit. But it's still mostly Loran. Well, if she dies, you know. Okay, she's fine. Yeah, she's fine. Jill's Jill's beefy. There we go. That's progress, and that one's going to take the same amount of damage, I'd reckon. Hmm. All right. Also, Lamau. <coughs> I like how the spirits are also just here. Ashra may have teleported somewhere else, but Spirit certainly haven't. Oh, two range? Yeah, two range. Okay, so everyone's gonna recover all their HP now, I guess. Two range blessing. Yeah, your your player phase hasn't started yet. Has yeah, it hasn't! Oh my god! <laughs> what? Sorry, he just recovered all his HP. He can literally just stand here. Okay, but he, he does regain uh, HP versus his luck, so what's his luck? Yeah, he gets 45 HP back. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. We can literally stand with absolute purity <laughs> in this dude, That's fucking hilarious. Let's go. I was thinking, I was like, everyone took so much damage. Like, maybe I need to, like, you know, actually, like, use kill people. Use the Ashra staff. Use the Ashra staff. But no, if there's, like, two range, um, blessing. No, apparently we don't. We just need to make sure that this guy gets topped off. Okay, so I do actually like this from, even though it's incredibly scuffed, I do like the fact that Loran finally gets his moment in the sun compared to Vanilla, where he doesn't, uh. he doesn't even get a weapon. It's just like, here, I have a staff. You just had a tome while you were, like, laying next door with your book, trying to die. Look, dying is very stressful for your physical possessions. <laughs> Fiona, I wanted you to get the kill! <laughs> okay, can we get a kill with Mist instead, then? We probably can. Tempest Blade doing magic damage should be good. It has one free range. Okay. It's the same hit rate. Don't disappoint. Yeah, Kay. there we go. Misses yes. on the board. Let's like just ignore the fact that like you know Laurent's the one who's doing most of the fucking work here. <laughs> I mean, there's other instances where he's where it's possible for him to do most of the work. Uh, reverse recruitment, for example. Mmm. Reverse recruitment, Laurent. Don't speak to me of that, man. <laughs> you have uh, you have opinions. Yes. Every single time, like. I'm currently, like, co-commentating a playthrough that hasn't, like, started releasing yet uh, with Reverse Recruitment uh, Radiant Dawn, and uh, every single time that Loran has to do anything, both me and the actual person playing keep on being like, wow, we wish we had Makaya right now. Oh, that's great. Makaya stonks. The worst part is, uh, I'm, like, I'm glad you're actually going to play it with someone. Uh, looking forward to that in that case. Uh, mm. But also, he's supposed to pretty much match up to his averages uh, when fully trained and at 20, 20, 20. So That's did, funny. This is, I didn't have any growths for him. He has zero growths. So yeah. what I did, I was like, what is a decent stat line to give to him uh, it, after I take away the promotion gains from like Makayas to class changes? Because she, uh -huh. sw she swaps and they make pretty much sense for him. And then I put his bases somewhere that he didn't die immediately. Maybe they were like one point all across the board too low. And then I made growths based on that and inserted those. Ooh, one HP. That's that's close. That's actually also due to uh, support that he took more damage. Oh right, that makes sense. Leonardo can hit this. Does parity actually influence it? <coughs> uh, one tile back, yeah. 
Well, let's find out. Well, okay, so so far Laram's killed one. Yeah, uh, Fiona killed one, Miss killed one, Soren killed one, or did he kill two by now? I think he no. killed one. Yeah, he killed one. I'm pretty, doing pretty well. To be fair, <laughs> I feel like this is a kind of scenario where, like, it's hard to... Oh. It's still huh. fates. We had to include some festivals. That makes sense. I was thinking, also, like, 12 out of 10 uses, Lamau. I don't know, man. Things are scuffed. It's it's just the way it is. This That's true. This entire project was... Um, the idea for the Takmi-verse project was to have all the Takmi videos release on his birthday. And mm -hmm. that was, like, it was maybe a month worth of, like, time before the release date would have been. It's going, it's obviously a bit later, uh, because, well, finals are a thing for people, stuff like that. But mm -hmm. I tried to get it done in that time frame. But, yeah, with, with the amount of scuffness going on and just the, the terrible state of my file... I wasn't able to get everything. I didn't. I wasn't able to get out all the wrinkles. Some of mm. them were just blatantly my mistake. Uh, dragon skin, but getting uses. I mean, the dragon skin moment is so funny, though. Yeah, it is. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Uh, but getting staff uses uh, to normal. I didn't even realize, but I don't think I could have been bothered either way. Mm -hmm. Oh right, the spirit's totally gonna kill people. Now. Oh yeah, five range thunder coming in. Oh, are you going to game oh. over? No. Okay. I mean, to be fair, it was Thunder, so I was not that concerned about the chance of it actually hitting. Yeah, uh, their stats are different. Although it is 5 range. I don't know if it's like the a bow unique thing, where the every tile you're away from them, except at 2 range, you lose 30 hit. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, well, the spirits have achieved nothing of value. <laughs> I mean, do they ever? Huh. Are they acting based off of, like, um... Ah, we're gonna watch something where we don't get to counter at all. Yeah, this is, this is like, the 26 hit is because he's quite a few tiles away. Uh-huh. It'd be... Let's see, probably... Yeah, it'd be 57 if... Okay, time, for, time for the 10 billion year long... <laughs> free recovery <player> phase. phase. <laughs> it's not even enemy phase or player phase, it's just recovery phase. Yeah. I don't even know. What are they healing off of? Oh, probably heal tiles. Uh, this is a heal tile? Oh, heal cover. I guess so. It takes away defense and gives a void. Oh, and the ward would takes away a void. Oh, and it's also no longer got like the, the 10 jacked up thing that I had before. Yeah, 10 defense, 10, 10 resistance. Like, who thought of that as a great idea? I get trying to differentiate like certain auras, but that was just weird. That's true, it was weird. Oh, double stun. The stun doesn't seem to have increased the damage, so have you changed the way that the skills work? Yes, uh, this is also a daybreak thing, like a lot of this save file was based off initial daybreak modding things. Yes! Okay, Fiona's gotten two kills now. Fiona is currently in the lead. Yeah, this is incredibly cast. Uh, the mastery skills, of course, are pretty much all lethality, except for Corona and Flare, which are like relatively balanced, all things considered. Um, all things considered. I mean, they still hurt quite a bit, and it sucks for mages that they, of all units, don't get the times three multiplier. Uh -huh. I removed all the multipliers from all the skills, and I'm planning on making a lot of these skills actually non-masteries for uh, Daybreak, because you have mm. Tear, which is quite good, if you remove the damage component, it halves your speed, or it halves the enemy speed, I'd, I should say. That's mm. pretty valuable. However, there's also things like uh, Savage, which have skill, and that's a lot less valuable. Leonardo, please, you're better than this. Uh, is he really better than this? Yes, to say. yes he is. Okay, Titania, Titania, can you hit this 59? Yes! She can! Okay, wait, that means that the barrier's gonna go down now. I was really waiting for it, but you had to move Titania. Okay. okay. The Spectres are gone! Excellent. Now we can finish this. 
kill. <laughs> kill all. Dot, dot, dot. What? <laughs> What's going on? This is insane. Trample the earth. Kill all those filthy Norians. Kor. Corin, I'll have your head. I hate you. But how is General Ike? I will fight one more time. We must put this boy to rest. Ah, voices in my head. No. Perish. All of you Norians. I'll kill all of you. I can believe that. You know, help me. We can do it. We'll forge a new destiny today. Oh, so the class has to get the final blow on him? How perceptive. That's neat. Yeah, I guess. Something to... I didn't like about Radiant Dawn was how like Ike had to be the one to get the final blow. Yeah, on he gets Astra. too much screen he he gets way too much screen time. You know, please, lend me your strength. You're our hope, Makaya. Forge us a new dawn. Takumi, you can't stop her. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if there's no way to win. Fighting defines us, and we will not lose. Corin, Makaya, Ike, I'll kill you all. Okay. Oh, I've completely forgot about the spirit still here. <laughs> Uh, around, I guess Aaron or... can finally do something. There's another one, uh, Mikai. Or... Oh, there is another one. Oh yeah, I didn't change Impil because Impil actually doesn't have anything cool going on for it. So, lol. It's uh, however, fun fact about uh, Impil. Everybody thinks that uh, what's it called? Eclipse is the highest damage uh, you can possibly do in game. Uh huh. It's actually Impil. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah, it's because uh, Eclipse multiplies strength times 5, and for the Black Knight that would be 38 times 5. It's like, what, uh, 150 plus 40, 190? Yeah. Mm. Whereas Maybe with... we should be turning on animations for um for Loran as well, because I feel like he's been doing like a lot of work, even though like I've been purposefully feeding the kills to other people. Yeah, fair enough. He's He's been a great chip bot. No, but um, Impil actually does more damage because it does after, like it does damage in the end. That's getting uh, multiplied times four. Oh, I see. And you can triple that damage with Dragon Foe or with Bird Foe, depending on where you put them, uh, either in the Izuka map or in three endgame, or a four dash three endgame uh, versus a white dragon because they have quite low defense, and you can have Danfed, because he's the only one with an attack boosting affinity, use the Wishblade with Impale. Also, that, yeah, that's Takumi. Neat. Yeah, his hair's different. Shinon's hair's different color. Yeah, and he's not green and red, he's blue and white grayish. Yeah. That's neat, that's really neat. It actually came out quite well. Like, I was so invested in talking about the highest damage cap, I believe it's like 232 damage or something like that. Eh? Uh, life taker. Oh. <coughs> you didn't kill anyone though. No, um, it, this was me not reading life taker correctly during coding. I thought it. Ah, uh, right. I thought it took half of the uh, enemy's life when they died, and I couldn't get that to work. But it turns out it was just Takumi's own health if I'm if I read it correctly afterwards. However, at that point okay. I had a just heal 14 damage every time. And What's this EP5 thing? That's a cooldown system. Neat. So currently it's going to take 5 attacks for him to uh, actually use Vengeance. Okay. That's like, neat. Like, we can probably get there. He, re he recharges, uh, what, 14 HP every time? We have a few units we can sacrifice. We have more than a few units. I'm not that interested in doing the Excel Blum, like, greater <coughs> victory thing, though, I'll have to admit. No, that's not necessary. Also, I don't know what happens if uh, anyone other than Makaya kills him. Okay, we'll just stick with the Makaya kill then, I think. Yeah. Like, that totally wasn't necessary to code in. Weapon level up staves. Huh. Okay, so we have someone else who can use the <coughs> extra staff, I guess. Not that we've needed it. 
Not that we've needed it, but like we've got someone who could use it. Yes, we, we could. Technicalities. I mean, you could have danced for people. You could have also raised their biorhythm to max. <laughs> I mean, that is true. That is something we could have done. Okay, what does this look like? Uh, I think that sets up a kill from Akaya quite nicely. Okay, well, let's give it a go then. <coughs> See, we, even now we get to have Ike contribute to um, contribute to this. Yeah. And he'll get 14 HP back afterwards, so he'll be at like 24. I I mean, we didn't check the combat forecast, but I have to imagine if Makaya's magic is probably, he's probably got enough damage to kill him. I did code it so that she would at least do more than 14 damage. Barely, but... Well, I think we got her. It's a 92. We go we have to. It's a 92. If it misses, then like we're really cursed. Okay. Oh, we're actually close range. Nice. Nice. Makai, if you miss this, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Okay, hey, thank you. There we go. GG. GG. The lunatic conquest Iron Man is finally done. It's true. We did beat. We beat. We did beat Takumi. That is a thing that did occur. Yes, I'm totally counting this. Must kill. It's over. It's all over. We did it. Our fighting is finally done. Now the people. Now the people should all turn back to normal. Yes. I still wonder though. What happened to Ashra? Who was that boy? Imagine like the goddess suddenly getting replaced by like this random angsty teenager and you're like, <laughs> who is this? <laughs> I mean... You're like, I guess we gotta fight you, but like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> new, new final boss, who this? What is happening? The curse is being lifted. And now you get to fight um, spirits until the end of days. The boss has been defeated though. Yes. As I said, scuffed. I wonder, does the AoE attack still go through, or do we need to have someone on the map for that? I wonder. I mean, we'll find out after this recovery phase, maybe. <laughs> it shouldn't take that long. You didn't take too much damage, so... Yeah. Okay, just move out of the way, because otherwise you're going to continue to, like... <laughs> okay. Okay, so apparently... So, okay... So we're just gonna be fighting spirits for the rest of our days. Yes, you're just stuck here. Lol, imagine being like Ike and Makai and being like, we put in all this work and now we're just stuck here for the re fucking rest of time fighting spirits. <laughs> like, does anyone know how to use stairs? Can we go now? No, sorry, man. There's some magical barrier keeping us here. <laughs> yeah, oh. they're all just like, well, that's neat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess that's it then. I think that's it. And, uh, this was very funny. With like, with this, with this <coughs> dude with fucking dragon skin, like that was great. That was so good. I mean, I should have renamed it for him specifically to Heron skin, but yeah, thank you, boy. I'm glad. I'm glad Loran finally got some uh, chance to get into the spotlight. Yeah, Loran got to get into the spotlight. Makaya got to be more important in the boss kill. You know, good stuff. Well, I thank hope you for getting that 92. Yes, that's very nice of you, Makaya. I do hope that uh, you've all enjoyed this uh, Takumi in Radiant Dawn playthrough and I hope you've all enjoyed the entire other playlist with all the Takumi's videos as well. I want to thank Akraso very much for joining me today. Uh, he didn't know what to expect. I certainly think it wasn't this. And yeah, I don't think it was this. <laughs> no, I don't think it was this. I don't think it was this myself either. Like I, I should have checked that one in particular. But I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, I mean, it was just it was just really good. Like, that was so good. Well, that's going to be it for us. If you've enjoyed, please uh, check out Akraso in his YouTube channel. It's linked below. And also check out the Discord if you want to see more Radiant Dawn hacking. Uh, with less bugs than this, I might add. This, uh, something... Yeah, no, definitely. Like, the fact there are lots of changes um, made in Daybreak here. I was already interested in Daybreak, and I do want to, like, check it out, obviously, when it eventually comes out. But... I'm, in, I'm intrigued now, properly. So thanks for having me on. You're welcome. Thank you so much. And uh, I guess we're going to um, check in on some other people.